everyone. Welcome back to part two of the Coco Caliente episode featuring me and my mom, where we talk about everything and nothing all at the same time. I'm Nicole. And I'm Jenny. All right. So thanks for coming back for this episode. What do you got for us, Jenny? Um, I don't know. I have... So right now when you're listening to this episode, the reason we're recording two back to back is because we are going to be in Florida. Um... I've never gone to Florida in May before. Have you? I don't think so. It's going to be really hot. And I keep saying that. It's going to be so, so hot. I already thought it was hot in March. So I'm a little bit worried. But my brother and his fiance are going because this is her school break. And so we want to go. Or Jesse wanted you to go, mom and dad. And me and Arrow are coming as well. So, and, then, and also, um, we're staying, me, Nic- me and Dave and Nicole and Arrow are staying in our own, um, what are those at Orange Lake again, but in our own, what do I want to call them? Bungalow suite? What are they? Why do I want to say condo? Why can I? Oh, a condo, whatever. Yeah. Whatever they our are. Our timeshare? Yeah. Whatever. So we're staying in one. And then, um, Jesse's got a three bedroom one and he's staying with, um, Ashley's mother and, um, stepdad and, um, brother and sister, brother and sister in law, which and is niece, my niece, yeah, and no, the, and the baby. and the baby. So Arrow is going to have a playmate, and she is fourteen months old, right? I think so. Fourteen months old, maybe fifteen, and so actually he'll have somebody to play with, which is going to be nice. I'm excited, but yes, Dave just said today to me, oh, I don't know if I'm looking forward to that. It's going to be really hot. And for Dave to say that Dave's not afraid of the heat. I'm a little bit worried. I'm so worried. Did you run any cabanas yet? No, but I'm so worried. You have no idea. When we went to Gatorland last time, she said, whatever you do, don't come from, come through May through September. It's miserable. Well, I'm worried. Every, I thought it was so hot already, but I can stay under the cabana and just go in the pool and I can stay in the room. I don't really care. The de- Actually, the degrees, when I looked at it for next week, are really close to what we had in March. Oh, okay. Well, but yeah. I don't know if the air will be different, but I'm just saying right now it... was. It was like in the 90s. Is that oh, what you're it's, talking about? Oh, it's in about? 80s. I'm looking but, after but, we get uh, off. I'm looking after we get off this. I don't know if you're lying to me. I am not lying to you. It says like, well, high 80s, like 86 and stuff like that. Um, we've been having a lot, a lot of family dinners lately, have we not? Or going out about, to dinner. Are we talking about China King on Sundays? That was two times in a row. Yes, you should do that every Sunday. And we went to Biagio's the weekend before. Oh when Victor was gone, I feel no, like Victor, all I did was eat out. No, but Victor, Victor was, was there. Victor was there because we went out for but his I'm, birthday. But I was thinking about it, Mom. You, We went to Tim Hortons two times in one week. And we the closest Tim Hortons is an hour away. That's pretty, pretty bad. And we went to Panera. Panera that same day. Which was awesome. That tasted so good. And someone said that they saw me there and didn't want to interrupt us after. And I was so embarrassed because we ordered the whole menu. Oh, my goodness. We both went on. The, um, <laughs> we, were we, we always order together and like one of us pay. Like it, that was the first time we ever. I don't remember the last time we've ever ordered separate. But we both went on to. She wanted to do it on the little kiosk is or whatever. Because I get stressed out because I don't know what I want because I don't go there often enough. I So I don't want people waiting behind me. So she went on the one and like I wanted to look at the same time. Like I'm like, I don't know what I want because I was like, it's like a two for whatever. You can get like a salad and a soup or a soup and a sandwich. So I wanted to look at the choices. So I just went on my own and just went through and did my own order. Like, so tell while, them what you ordered. While she was doing hers. You did the two for whatever it was. Yeah, but it really. It it's was really more expensive. than what it says. So what because, is this? But it said add this because I got this oh. new thing and it was this long Italian pizza bread sandwich. And then mm-hmm. I got the soup that, what was it called? Because you got I got too. the same soup too and we didn't even talk. What, it's I know, what? new. It was a new corn, spicy corn. Chowder or something? Yeah, no. something like that. I don't know. It was a really good soup. So I, I got that. Again. And then I got that sandwich and then I got a cinnamon roll. Okay. And, and, I, mine, and it came to like, oh, and a lemonade. And it came to like just a little under $20. I was like, holy crap. I just bought myself a $20 lunch at Panera. And then, so then I know why we did separate was good because Arrow is not cheap. So I got him a broccoli mac and cheese. And then I got myself the two for whatever. I got the same soup as my mom. And I got like an avocado chicken sandwich or something, the half. And then I decided, I think I'm still going to be hungry. So I got myself a whole like chicken Asian salad. And, and a cookie. And then a cookie. 
So I think that's all I got. It was like 30 some bucks. And then so like we, 30 and a, and a mango. Oh, and a smoothie. green, a green smoothie. Yeah. She's I like, almost, or, she's like, I want to you spent that, that much. And then she's like, oh my gosh, it was almost $40 for me at Arrow. And I was yeah. like, and then when we went to the table, he mm-hmm. ate his mac and cheese so fast. She had to get up and go order another one. Yep. I did. I had to go, but I didn't get the broccoli one that time. I got the regular and he didn't really eat that much of it. So I guess broccoli one it is. I didn't get the broccoli one again because, um, it didn't look like there was a lot of noodles and I was like, oh my god, It was gosh. like soup with noodles in it. It was kind of different. Yeah. But he but loved, he loved it. it. So anyways, we, it was, so whoever saw me, I'm just a little embarrassed. That's all I'm going to say. And I had, I brought, I only ate, um, oh, plus you get like to pick, um, Something like oh, a, I got chips. I, I got a baguette with my soup or whatever. So I ate the baguette and the soup, and I brought the cinnamon roll home, and more than three quarters of my sandwich home because I couldn't eat that after I ate the soup and and that, and then drank the lemonade. I was that was that was all I. And then I took my smoothie, my whole salad that I did not need, and the, the rest of Arrow's mac and cheese and, and the rest your cookie of home. It's like, what the heck? But do you ever walk into the place and I was like shaking? I was, even though me and mom just ate at Tim Hortons two and a half hours prior to this, I was shaking because I was so hungry and like I was getting dizzy. So I was just like hitting everything. I don't know if anyone else. And so I was just mowing down until I don't feel dizzy and jittery. And then I was like, I can relax. I don't know if that happens to anyone else, but I don't know how I'd ever go on Survivor or anything because I cannot go three hours without eating. And I, and I just, everything looked good. I had a really hard time picking. I wanted like every soup and I wanted every sandwich and the salads also looked good. So mm-hmm. I would, I knew like, oh, I'm just going to take, I'm just going to take whatever home and, um, I'll eat it or Dave will eat it when, you know, but I don't want to sit down and say, oh, I wish I would have got that. So that's why I just ordered what I wanted. And I don't get to go there very often. And I really, Same. really do like Panera. And I like going with you because we don't get judged by anyone. I feel like we just totally are just like, we just do our thing. I, I don't get to do that. Like Mariah, I get to do that with Mariah, but I, there's not a lot of people I can do that because with. Because Dave is a big, he is huge on, he'll stress us every time we go to eat order what you're going to eat. Yeah. He hates when we order so much stuff and everybody takes home food. I mean, but I, he doesn't complain later when he's opens up a, a to go container out of the fridge and he eats it. But he is so like when me and him go, it never happens. It's only happens when we have all the kids. Cause everybody's different on appetizers. Like Jesse will want one thing. Nicole want one thing. And I either have to just not have, take a pick or else I have to say, well, I'm getting what I want too. So Biagio's, that's the worst because they give you a ton of food for your money. So we always have so much leftovers. Yeah. But it's all really good later. Yeah. And I never throw it away at home later. And Victor and I even split a meal and I was still stuffed. But that's because I got an appetizer and a salad and everything else. But could you imagine if, you know, dad kind of gives me the eyes sometimes when I'm eating something and kind of makes me mad. And could you imagine if I did that every time he had a beer or something? No, but he gives you the I'm gonna eyes. I'm going to start doing that. He gives you the eye, He gives us the eyes if we don't, because he knows we order way too much. We order way too much stuff. Sometimes we will literally at Biagio's take home. I know, it's stupid. Um, 15 wi- big, big wings. And it's like, he's like, why did you guys have to order so many wings? You don't need that many. And then um, take home, like we take him a lot, a lot of food. He, Dave always eats his food. I, he never he, asks for a box, does he? No, and I'm going to start being better because that's like kind of a waste of money. Yeah, that's why that's why Dave's like, because we do go out to eat a lot. So he doesn't want, you know, to always be spending, you know, th- that. That's why he's like, just let's go out and eat and hey, just, I just get ate what a we pot want. Of, I just ate a pot of spaghetti for three days straight and now it's gone and I'm really proud of myself. And there was no meat in the spaghetti even. Okay. I'm doing good. And I got a burrito and I ate half of it one day, half of it today. And yeah, so I'm trying to be better with that stuff. It's just when I get to a restaurant and I'm starving, it's bad news. I cannot control myself. Just like <laughs> I'm in the grocery store and if I'm hungry, bad news. I wish I wish they could say, okay, you can only order this much and then I'll come back in 20 minutes and see if you still want that other thing because I won't. <laughs> yeah. And I, and I, I know, I know that's one of Dave's pet peeves. So I'm actually pretty, I'm actually pretty good about it. And I'll like, especially if I see the kids extra ordering, I'm like, well, I'm going to order light because there's going to be so much extra food sitting on this table. Um, 
but Jesse is pretty much a cleanup crew. So mm-hmm. when he goes to eat, he doesn't he doesn't go to eat as often as us. And when he does, he he'll like yeah. if, if you're somebody's not eating it, or he'll take it home and he does not waste anything. Like he'll he'll eat all his food. But yeah, I, I'm trying hard with the thing to just order only what we're going to eat and not take it home. But I obviously didn't do that. I said like I went when I went to Panera. Neither did I. It was just we were set up for failure that day and chinese <laughs> there that that is way too hard to if you order from our china our local chinese and both towns that are one 15 minutes away and one 20 some minutes away have the best food so mm-hmm. and we all order something different you can't eat the whole thing meal yourself so that always is leftovers but he doesn't really complain about that. No, he he he's the one that wants Chinese every yeah, Sunday. Every Sunday he'll be like in the morning, he's like, We're gonna get Chinese later, we're gonna get Chinese. That's the only time he has to go out to eat, isn't it? Yeah, and honestly we've been eating at such good places that the food is really good, but most times before that, mm-hmm. I would say like I was always I'd always come home and be like, Mom, you cook better. Like, why did we go out and spend that money? Da da da. But I feel like we've been making really good choices on where we go lately. Yeah. We're not just going out to go out. It's like I feel like we picked the cream of the crop, right? We've been, yeah, we've been, we've been eating. Panera too good. is awesome. Panera is like a five star restaurant to me, so I have no regrets. I don't know if it's from breastfeeding or having a baby, but I never had like my armpits never smelt before until now, and I feel like nothing is working. Um, so I tried this new product called Lumi, and what was different about Lumi is a body de- body deodorant. So you can use it for more than just your armpits. You can use it for your privates and your feet and your under your boobs or your belly button or your butt, whatever you want. Um, I know it sounds like different, but it's so interesting because it was created by an OBGYN. Um, and I can give you a discount code in a, in like a minute. So I think you guys will be really interested in it because it's aluminum free, it's skin safe and clinically proven to control odor up to 72 hours. So it's a pH balanced deodorant. Um, so that's super, super nice. And so I love it because it actually works for me and it's a whole body deodorant as well. Um, so like I said, you can use it for several, even your feet. So Um, they, this OBGYN like saw firsthand how normal BO was being misdiagnosed and mistreated. So this blocks odor all day and up to 72 hours. That's like so, so crazy. It's also baking soda free and paraben free. Um, and you can choose from a variety of different scents like clean tangerine, lavender sage, or toasted coconut. I like just like love it. You guys should definitely try it. So the starter pack, it's perfect for new customers. Um, it comes with a solid stick deodorant, a cream tube deodorant, and two free products of your choice, like a mini body wash or deodorant wipes and free shipping. So a special offer for my listeners, um, new customers get $5 off a Lumi starter pack with the code COCO, C-O-C-O at Lumi, it's L-U-M-E deodorant.com. And that e- equates to over 40% off your starter pack when you visit Lumi deodorant.com and Lumi is spelled L-U-M-E um, and use code COCO at checkout. So I hope you guys love it because I do. Alrighty. And then, oh, what, Nicole got herself a, um, a golf cart. I did. I found, so we've been wanting a golf cart and I found a used one. Well, my dad found a used one and then I went and checked it out and we got it. And I, I got that in a moped as a deal. And so what I did, you guys, is for Victor's birthday was around the same time. And I got him a skydiving package because he's been wanting to skydive. And I knew he'd be super excited about that, but I was going to get this golf cart no matter what. So I said, mom, I'm going to say it's part of his present. So then that way it ups the Annie's when it's my birthday. And he thinks I got him like this golf cart and this moped, even though it's mine too. Anyways, it didn't really work now because now we're like discussing who's the moped is and what we're doing with it because I'm like, maybe we should sell it. He's like, it's mine. I'm like, no, no, it's really not yours. Anyways, we got to, it's really great because this golf cart is perfect for us. It can seat four people. It has like a rain guard. If you saw my story yesterday, um, I did like a video of it. But um, it's not even close to brand new, but I still like love it. And I love because I can live in it. I can let my dogs on it. I can do everything and I can get it a little dirty. And and, actually, and we've been looking. Dave prefers gas ones. Yeah. And this was a battery one. Yeah. And um, 
but it got all new batteries last year. And as long as you take care of them right, they said should be 10 years before you need new batteries. So in 10 um, years, I'll revisit to see if we need a new one. Oh well, yeah, that's all. Well, yeah. Um, but it's perfect for what they need to do. Arrow looked like he loved coming loved for, to, it. to town yesterday. And, and it, the thing is, is like, if you buy, I mean, the new one's not only expensive, but I feel like I wouldn't be able to like even go through a mud puddle without feeling like some type of way. You know what I mean? And the moped I got is, it was like basically brand new. It has like eight miles on it. It's the exact same one that my mom got my, my dad got my mom for Christmas a couple years ago. So now we have a matching pair. So it's pretty cool. And it's Bearcat And colors. I still, and I still, <laughs> and I still haven't driven it and he got it for me a couple years ago. I'm still scared of it. It's kind of, I mean, it is kind of scary, but at the same time, they're really fun. So we got that. Yeah. So, and, and I'm glad. And then, um, and then Jesse just got one and needed all new batteries. So he put new batteries in it. So he's got one for his property. Batteries are expensive though. It's like 1300 bucks. Yeah. They, they take six batteries. So, I mean, that's like a, it's a big like commitment when you're going to change the batteries. Right? But yeah, he just, so his should be 10 years too. So we'll see. You will make sure you and Jesse are taking care of them so that you, yeah. You want to talk about what we're going to do in the summer, our venture? Yeah, I do. So, um, I am so excited. So I got this email and it said that there's a spot opening at the village green. And I was like, is this what I think it is? Because the village green is in Port Austin. It's like contains eight shops. It's like eight storefronts. And I, from what I've heard, it's just super hard to get into. Um, so hard that like, I didn't even apply because I just thought there was no chance because there's been a waiting list for years, etc. Well, anyways, um, a spot opened and I texted my mom right away. I was like, oh, I just saw this email. It was like four hours ago. And, um, I was like, oh my gosh, I really hope that I get this spot, you know, and they're really good about it because they don't want you to like compete directly with the other vendors. So you kind of have to sell something different. And I didn't remember seeing anybody with like kids clothes. And so I put in like, that I wanted it. And then I sent a text the next morning to someone talking about how I couldn't stop thinking about it. I don't know. I just felt like if you want something like really go for it. Cause usually I sit back and I'm like, eh, it's just not meant to be, but this like felt like really right. Anyways, long story short, which that was a long story. I got it and I am so excited. Um, so you have to pay like rent on it for the whole summer. And then you are open eight hours a week. So Fridays will be open three to seven and Saturdays during the farmer's market, nine to one. But I have like a little building so I don't have to pack everything up every time. And that's the hardest part is like setting up every time. And if the weather's bad or... Yeah, especially clothes racks. Like I've, I've broke so many clothes racks. And she had already committed before she got this to doing the farmer's market the other yeah. way, two spots outside <laughs> setting up every week. So that she had already sent her check-in and mm -hmm. committed to that. So that was going to be a lot of road trips and packing things up. And this way, like say it's a nice day during the week and we just want to go up to Port Austin and for a ride or whatever, we can go up and work in the store front, set up what we want mm -hmm. so that when we get there Friday, it's easy to just pop yeah. it out or whatever. You can take your stuff when you get new stuff and you can take it and hang it right up there and um it'll you know you she'll have a key and she'll be able to get in and out the only thing the only bad thing is like co you're you're committed like you yeah. have to be there it has to be open and so if well, she has something couple, for the weekends yeah. then we you know then me or somebody else is going to have to be there like somebody has to you it's Are a you commitment fine with that I am there's, a, there's a couple weekends like I have Courtney's wedding in August and stuff and you know That's the I only mean? thing you said so far, but well, yeah, and I'm sure there's going to be something else. Yeah, um, but yeah, so we'll see how it goes. We have to go all the way till Labor Day. That's um, when. That's like your birthday. Yeah, but so I, I'm I hope it does really well, and Me I mean, too. then you know, then she'll know if it does, and this will be something she'll want to continue to do. And they just put a brand new, which if we would have known this, we would have gotten a seasonal spot. They put, they just put a brand new campground in right across from this. And I would have actually took a seasonal spot had I known she was going to do this. Cause that would have been perfect. Like, mm -hmm. um, but then I didn't do it because I didn't know, you know, I mean, this was so such next a year, hopefully. Thing. So um, it's like, it was so awesome because I was committed to this really hard thing. Like even my best friend Mariah was like, Oh my gosh, I saw that you're like committing every Saturday to this. And it's a lot of work. And I said, yeah, I know. 
And then like two days later, I'm committing every Friday and Saturday to this, but I'm just like so excited and it's so much better because I have this space and I was going to have to pull that trailer every week. It's like 45 minutes from my house, have Victor set up with me without, we always get in a fight when we're setting up because he says I bring too much stuff. So anyways, this is just so awesome. I'm so happy. And I think mom will have a great time too. Like running it and stuff. I think that it'll be totally fine. And Victor, unless he has something big going on, he will be home on the weekends mm-hmm. now. So that's going to be a um, game changer. Yeah. So he'll be there. So he'll actually, he said he's just got new bikes, right? So he said he's going to bring his new. <laughs> yeah. We got electric bikes and they're really freaking awesome. We took Have you Arrow- rode it yet? Yes. I got to show you the video. Arrows has the biggest smile, but I just made him go in a circle and he has a helmet or whatever. And it's so freaking cute. You guys got to be careful. You're stressing me out a little bit with them. You know that, right? Yes, you got to be careful. Also, yes. I know. But anyways, um, so he, um, um, so he's going to bring that up and he said he'll take Arrow for bike rides or wagon rides and stuff around, mm-hmm. um, Port Austin on the weekend while we're, cause he knows me and Nicole both like to do the store thing. Like, so he, and you he, know, he does not. So it's, it's perfect. Yeah. We like to do that kind of stuff. Okay. Oh, I was going to talk about this. Uh, lately, we have been getting, work, no matter where we go and no matter what Arrow has on, we have been getting, mm. uh, the, is, the, everybody's been calling him a little girl lately. And so what's the right thing? Should you tell somebody he's that Arrow's a boy when they ask you that? Or should you, just, Nicole most of the time just says thank you and doesn't say anything. But then later on, I can tell when they'll hear somebody say he or something that they feel kind of silly. I can just see like, you know, they'll say, they'll say she, she a couple times. It's so hard because he was wearing a bow tie and he got called a girl four times that day. I'm just like. And dress pants and hey, little dude shoes, right? And camo. Like what about him besides his beautiful face and curly hair (laughs) could be mistaken for a girl? No, it's just, it's hard because for me, I feel like some people were kind of like being mean on the internet saying it's how I dress him. It is not as case as evidenced by, if you go to my Instagram post, the picture of him eating that ice cream is what he's wearing when he was called girl four times. Okay. That is even in that restaurant, he was called a girl and it's not people. It's people that go out of their way to tell me how pretty she is. But I, do you think it's though, because the little bun thing in the back where we put his hair back in the bun sometimes but still he you can tell he's a boy i i don't know i can boys have buns because because i know nicole when nicole has a girl oh my gosh you're gonna know she's a girl because she's gonna be dressed in the cutest little um you know how much cute girl clothes there are boy clothes there that's what i think I'm i'm offended i said somebody thinks that i'm gonna dress my girl in this no like no, even if even if he's dressed like a boy with his hair down, he gets called a girl though. Yeah, even when his it isn't always when his hair's up. No, his hair can be down too, and I don't know if it's just until you get a boy's hair cut. But I mean, I don't want to do that to him. I love his no, little curly hair. I, I don't. It doesn't. Once, bug them, cur- me. once them curls go off, so most of the time they never come back. Like no. I did that. I waited till Jesse was two and I cut his off. Maybe even two and a half, and I was so sad. I was like, Why did I do that? Why did I do that? Yeah, I think like it it doesn't bug me, but it bugs me because I don't really know how I should handle it because if I'm never going to see the person again, I just let it go. But if it's someone <laughs> that I'm going to see again, I definitely kind of correct it, but how I correct it is like in conversation I'll say he like maybe a minute later or something and then they kind of catch on. You know. Yeah. And I I just I was just wondering like what most people do if they cuz I know it happens a lot because um like a lot of people wait, I can tell they're, they'll talk and they'll say, Oh, your baby's so cute. And then they wait. And then when Nicole will say like, yeah, he, how old, or they'll just say how old and not say, is he or is she sometimes? And then you answer and then they like go whatever. And then they'll be like, like later somebody might say, Oh my God, I couldn't, I didn't know for sure. But I used to get that with my little one all the time. Mm -hmm. They thought my little, my boy was a girl all the time. So I, so it is pretty common Mm -hmm. because, and I think because of the curly hair and I think people used to say that with Jesse too, but I just think it's funny because sometimes like Nicole has some unisex outfits that she'll put on from Franny and the Fox were there. I can, you know, then it's a little confusing, but when he's in downright all the way, like 
a boy suit, that's when I get a little bit confused and I'm like, oh gosh, <laughs> you know, and I'll just smile. And half the time I don't say anything either because I don't know what to say. I swear me and you just like smirk at each other without even looking at each other because it happens so often that we can't even believe it, especially like it happens several times when he's in a bow tie. So it's just, so I guess, you know what I'm going to do? And he, t- and he talks like a boy, you know, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, like I'm going to try to prevent it because I don't want them to feel bad is I'll say he as soon as I possibly can. And sometimes when I feel like people are looking at him and going to come tell me he's cute, I'll say arrow. Like I try to say his name because I feel like that sounds like a boy name, right? And so I kind of do that or it's hard to tell what names nowadays though. That's it, true. It, it really, it really is. Especially it, a name that I never heard before. <laughs> and now, now watch if you have a girl, they'll be going to be thinking she, that's, I think that does happen though with some people who have girls and they don't have no hair that people mm. think that they're boys. Like I, you know, I think it, it, think the it, baby doesn't have the, a choice. The clothes, what looks like. the clothes is the, like the, this should be like the, the biggest key to like what, um, what yeah. you know what the baby is speaking of baby showers i went to the cutest baby shower a couple of weeks ago and it was actually the day uh, victor was home for the weekend nicole was invited too so she didn't end up going with me and um there were so many kids i wished i had taken arrow because there were so many there was probably like 20 little kids and people that i know who all have young children and there were some boy mostly girls but there were some boys there too and um anyway she had the cutest thing like you at the, you can take a bag and put your name on it. And she had all these kind of like little, um, it's for the kids table. Yeah. Like it was, yeah, but you just packed it up. But what was it called? Like little, like you make yourself a bag and it had like like balls and the punching balloons and the little pads of paper and Play-Doh, the Play-Dohs and, and, um, at right when I was leaving, there was still so much stuff on the table. And so I went and got arrow a couple things like a punching balloon, but I got him this little stamp and it's, um, bluey right like the character bluey that's a dog if you don't i didn't wouldn't know what it was if it wasn't for arrow but i got him that and he is obsessed with this Mm -hmm. thing which i have to tell chandra that he is obsessed with it and he gives us right now i have a bluey on my hand and i think on my foot but he loves to go walk Mm -hmm. around to each person it stays at my house and i think it's about running out of ink but he gives us all a Mm -hmm. bluey stamp every single time he's over and it's so darn cute it's so cute but you had one on your face last night i I washed that off when i I did wash it off before i went to bed because i looked in the mirror and i forgot it was there (laughs) and i like had one on my cheek but he like likes that and then um anyways i was just looking at um the things but just the cute things you can do with like showers and birthdays and themes i cannot believe all the work that people put into everything is so cute. Like, yeah, I used to think my little birthday parties for you guys were cute way back in the day. I'm sure kinda, they were cute back then. But I mean, can you imagine like if, if I could do that of, stuff now? It's a lot of pressure though. Yeah, it wasn't really, I didn't feel pr- under any pressure. I just felt like it was fun back then. It was not under any pressure. Now it's kind of like, okay, there's going to be pictures and people are going to be like talking about, I don't know. And actually like, um, I was talking to my mom today and she was just talking to me about, Um, my brother talking to her, he, she said she went and talked to him yesterday. He was barbecuing and he just said he cannot believe. And I mean, I think this all the time and I know everybody does about how the world is going, moving so, so fast. And with all this stuff with social media, he wishes he could just go back, you know, he's turning 50 this year. So I think he's, you know, go back to like the simpler times and, you know, having more time to do just Mm -hmm. what you want to do and not the, you know, everything is like under pressure. Yeah. Everybody's you, under that's pressure. Why I'm trying to do slow living. I'm really trying, but it's, it's hard because the world isn't built for slow living anymore. I know. And it, it is a lot of pressure. And, and I feel a- like sometimes you even judge me if I'm not like, or dad, if I'm not like doing like exactly what I need to do. But sometimes it's like, I just need to, I just want to chill. And no, I don't want to chill on my phone. I want to chill. Do you know that I ordered a Bible today because I want to a Bible that I can easily understand because I want to like go through it and I want to take the time all that I want to learn to crochet like all those skills that I just don't have time for but I have time for scrolling endlessly on my phone that's pathetic I know when I say I don't have time for things and I should have more and I and I do I do have time to do things but I think I don't and I don't do the little I know It, it is it's like tough it's like you have to make choices there. It's, it's a choice thing now. And yeah, in the world, like having these TV shows 
at your fingertips like that. That's mm-hmm. a big, that's, that's a big, hard. that's bad though, because like before you literally had to wait a week to watch something you that know was like 30 minutes long yeah and you had to wait a week and you looked forward to it now you can just click 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 and watch 12 of them and there went your whole day like okay i, I don't that's something i don't do but sometimes at night if something i really like is on i could stay up till i could mm-hmm. turn it on at eight if dave fell asleep and i could watch it till one or two in the morning and then i'm exhausted the yeah. next day it's like okay that was what fun was that really like that wasn't fun why did i do that you know um i know because it's just like everything's right there but it's just gratification if you think about it in that moment because when i'm done with the show like i completely forget about it i don't like think about it anymore you know what i mean so that's like something you really got to think about too is 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 it going to help you in the long run that's what i got to start thinking about and like teaching arrow like leading by example you know that all that type yeah of because <laughs> he's so funny like Victor say like last night Victor was showing something and it was it was a vehicle or something well I don't even remember what it was a boat it was a boat oh yeah yes and he was showing a boat and um and he was showing Jesse it because we, he was, talking we had about Chinese... the, he was talking about the Titanic. Okay. So he was showing him. Yeah. So he was showing, he Googled something and showed Jesse arrows. Like, let me see it. Let me see mm-hmm. it. He already wants to see if he feels so left out already. <laughs> if I'm showing Nicole, I could be, I'm showing her perfume. I mean, I don't show her perfume, anything. but I'm just saying anything like, and he wants to see it on your phone and then he'll like because try he to guess to what it long. is. He wants to, yeah, he wants to be included and he already wants to look at, that kind of stuff. He has to know what we're showing. And that's why I want to spend so much. I mean, I need the weather to get better, but I just want to spend time outside too. He loves it. It's great for me. And he can learn so much more out there because I do find myself just turning on the TV if I want like five minutes of distraction. Luckily for him, it doesn't work very good, but sometimes he can get glued in and then I feel guilty. Like I turn on Barney because I want to put these clothes away or this or that. Um, but I need to like be better with that for sure. I was thinking about that today. And he had his first, like the day we went to the mystery show, he had um, his first like real kind of like in a long time babysitter, which was my sister and her son. And Carson is 16. 16. And Arrow had a blast. He thought Carson's like his playmate. He even wanted him to, Arrow doesn't even go in a playpen, but we had to open. Um, I had opened it the other day and, um, he wanted Carson to go in the playpen with him, which I don't think Carson did. No, he didn't. And Arrow doesn't even go in there. But Tiffany said he was so funny and so smart because she sees him and she, I talk to her constantly. So she sees him on FaceTime or hears him when I'm with him or whatever. But she said he was just, she's like, oh, I cannot believe he knows where everything in his house. Yeah. She said like, she said, oh no, the dogs ran. Where are the dogs? And then he goes, he points up and I have a whistle on the palm tree and they always come back to the whistle. He points up whistle, whistle. And then she got it for him. And then he starts like blowing, like imitating the blowing. He doesn't even blow it. He just makes a screeching noise with his mouth. It's just so funny because he just watches everything. So he knows exactly. Yeah. And then like he went, he must have, um, he opened up the water. He like to be a host already and it's so funny like if you bring your stuff he hands you your if you set your phone down he and you go sit somewhere different he comes and hands you your phone he hands you all your stuff Mm -hmm. so that you have it by you he went and got two waters and got them out like he likes to like be he's already like the hostess with the most he's a people pleaser already which is kind of scary he likes to like give you everything but she said she had a lot a lot of fun with him that he was he was so funny and he did so good he was up when we got home at 9 30 just like still a little bit wired but he did like and he even had um a tooth coming in so and now he's like really kind of cranky about it so i'm just so happy that he was he just wants to have the time of his life tiff is really fun though tiff is the one that always like came whenever she saw me and she was like the age of like the cool age where she definitely didn't have to worry about me. She's like 10. What is she? 10 years older than me? A little yeah. more than, or no, a little less than 10. I mean, no, 10. Tiffany's 40. 40. Yeah. She's and 10. I'm 30. Yeah. Um, and so she didn't, she'd always bring me a craft kit from the store and she'd be like 16, 17, 18, 19. And we'd just be doing that and stuff. And it was so much fun. And well, she even did crafts with arrow right when she got there, yeah. didn't she? Yeah. So she's just really fun. And she has, the ability to just like she loves kids and she can focus on them she doesn't she's really a selfless person so i think for her it comes really natural you know what i mean i knew he was going to be fine i was just worried he might 
get really tired and then um ask where I am but he didn't <laughs> and and I yeah and I was just worried about her like getting him wearing her out because he he wears us out like he can wear me Dave Nicole and Victor and Jesse all out in in three hours because he is like I don't know where his energy um comes from but um he can wear us out which she probably slept good that night uh, did you she ask her did. She, did you want to talk about his one appointment Oh that, yeah, that sure. We, we can we can talk. Oh, that's Arrow, why we I just got to... a text message that Arrow's knocked out at seven twenty. Okay. Um, so I that, that's why we went down to Panera and stuff. Yeah, yeah, we went down to the city because um, the, uh, Arrow had a cardiologist, pediatric cardiologist appointment, and this is something that I had been worried about for. It's been like since before we went to Florida in March. Um, and so we got in and I didn't want to talk about it in my story or anything because I just want to make sure everything was okay. I'm not the type to like pre talk about anything. Um, I don't know. That's just like my safety and I like my privacy a little bit. So anyways, everything is great or it's good. And we were, they were worried because his doctor could kind of hear like she could hear a sinus arrhythmia. And I asked about it because I could like feel it when he's sleeping at night. And she's like, yeah, I actually, I've heard it the last couple of times and it's still there. So I'll give you a referral to the cardiologist to get it checked out. And so we went down and he um, was like an angel in the office. I have never seen that before because he's terrified of doctor offices, terrified of face masks. They had a fish tank right when you walked in. He was so obsessed with that. And then we went back. He got an EKG and he did nothing but just sit there and like read a book, like look at a book. And he does not do that ever. No, he was, he was surprised me. He was so good. But the doctor actually said that the fish tank too is huge. And it like, it mm -hmm. also has like sesame characters for statues and stuff in it. Yeah. And it's at the exact level of mm -hmm. like a two to four year old to like look on it the whole time. And he said that that actually, he's noticed that. Or was it him or her that told us a lot, that? No, that a lot of... I said that... I said to him, I said, man, that fish tank really set the tone for this appointment. Like, he totally come And he back said and, it helps a lot with, like, that age. Mm -hmm. So Like, they just come back, like, mm -hmm. they're just in a really good mood and... And, um, and he could hear what she was talking about, but he she's he said it's just like with... In, like, when he breathes in and out, his heart rate changes. And that can be normal up to, like, seven years old. So he's not like super concerned but if there's you just keep an eye on it and come back if i need to but he's like i don't think he needs to wear a monitor or anything which is yeah he's such said great he news so then we could go like that's when we that's why we went to panera and stuff is because i felt like we could breathe finally and and he was um like arrow's so hyper and full yeah. of energy and stuff so we didn't like like from our observance we didn't see anything because yeah. if there's something but, wrong but she still, said he'd be like it, turning blue a little bit and like get really tired a lot. and 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 we had to cancel the appointment twice it was mm -hmm. actually way back in february i think when she finally first scheduled it but the first one i think she scheduled during in our no he got sick and they wouldn't oh let yeah bring him. yeah he got sick and they said you have to wait a couple weeks after they're sick and he only had a little because, because otherwise they can sound different you know he was taking tylenol like a couple days before that yeah she's like it can make it look worse than it is and so when she and told then was the that, other one the bad weather yeah i think it was like two things like and so it, it like really um was it was and, and they're strict because too because it is for like it is a kids, hard place and like even though the mask mandates lifted like in that office in the hospital you have yeah. to wear um yeah mask. and they don't let like anybody come in like there was nobody in there but us for until no. we left the next appointment came in no and like they weren't even gonna let my mom come in but they did because she was living with us at that time and Vic wasn't he was gone and I did not want to go like my heart was racing so bad because I was just like preparing myself to hear anything and so like I was so surprised Arrow wasn't freaking out because I mean I was my heart was probably 140 um so I was like I need my mom in case I like pass out because I'm so nervous but they're like that's fine so that was nice I did because you do not like to see your kid like hooked up to any machine ever. So, and I thought Arrow could p possibly be screaming bloody murder too. And then that gives me like anxiety. Well, especially because they, they made him they, right when he went in there. So they're like strip him to his diaper and like, okay, that is usually a no go immediately. He does mm -hmm. not, Arrow does not like to take his clothes off like at all, unless he's going to take a bath. He literally 
doesn't yeah. like to. He likes to have, he don't even like, he's so funny that, you know, like um, jogging pants, he's getting long legs. And so he, yeah. we still got him like in the 18 months pants. And he is Today eight, I had 12 months on him still. So he, they, they, so, <laughs> like they so they, yeah. So they're like, yeah, when they go up on his leg, he gets so frustrated. He'll like bend down and pull them down. But then the minute he stands up again, they go back up because they're just short pants. And it's hilarious well, because, because he gets so frustrated if they do not go all the way down to like his ankles. He wants his pants pulled all the way down and his shirts, like you roll up his sleeves when he's eating. And even though he's eating, he still wants them down to his wrist. He like does not like that. So you have and to literally he- put a Tank or yeah. a t-shirt on him and today he poured like a little bit of i changed his quote outfit three or four times today because the second he spills something on himself now if he can feel it on his skin that it's wet he wants it changed and he has a little bit of something on his hands he freaks out i'm like oh my goodness oh yeah he says child. he always is, tells me wash his hands wash his hands he he'll he, he eats a cheeto and of course, what's a Cheeto going to, which Nicole doesn't let him eat Cheetos, but I do here. And, um, what's it, how is a Cheeto not going to get your fingers orange? He puts the Cheeto, the Cheeto gets orange on his finger. He wants me to get a cl- mm-hmm. uh, paper towel and wash his hands and wash the cheese off the Cheeto. <laughs> like he'll try to wash. I'm like, nope, we're not eating those. That is really gross. <laughs> you can't, <laughs> you could not wash off a Cheeto. That is like, no. Yeah. I need to work on getting him a little bit messier because I don't want him to. You know, freak out. Jesse was Jesse had that freak out for a little while with germs. Right when he started going to preschool, and they would like stress how much you had to wash your hands, or you, they would sing germ songs. Oh my gosh! I think I went through a whole year where he like made me wash his hands, and then he like he would if he had to open a door to come out, he'd make me wash him again. He wanted to keep his hands in the air and not. T- he never had to wanted to wash a door handle, touch the door handle, touch the fridge handle, touch anything. He was like. It was bad because of because he got so like they sung so many germ songs <laughs> at preschool. He was just he thought he had germs. He would just scream that everything has germs and oh my! It was it took me a while. At first I was like smirking about it and I was like oh my gosh, but then it got like really really frustrating because he was like yeah. really really upset all the I time. I remember you at the sink with him actually, and like how many times you had to wash him, and then he couldn't touch anything for a really long time. He just keep his hands in the air, yeah. And, <laughs> I never because you were like five. I did not have that, and for me, or if you touched him, like, and then they would think it's funny at first. Like everybody that's seen him doing it at first, like, and they like he'd get really upset. They would touch him, like Nicole would, or like some of his uncles would like go touch his hands, and he would be really, really upset because he then you'd have to go wash again, and I would get mad at them because I'm like. You guys, I am like washing his hands. They're raw. Like, stop. You know, don't touch him. You know, he just. So he just got over it on his own? Yeah, I think it. I think I talked to them at preschool about like to please not stress it so much with him because he was having trouble with. I don't know. It it just kind of phased out. It was really bad. Yeah, I think it phased out. But I mean, he was because he wasn't like that. He did wash his hands. But I mean, he literally thought he was. An arrow is so skinny, right? Like, he's just a small child he's 22 pounds 14 ounces so when i put 18 month pants on him they actually like jeans they fall off the waist part and that's kind of why i have to put 12 months on him right now is because i'd rather him stay up on his waist and be a little bit short so hopefully he, he hates a short bo- pants he, yeah but i mean dude i don't want to see his butt i crack. feel bad for him because he literally bends down pulls <laughs> his pants down then when he stands up they go back up again and he'll do it like 10 times okay it's like, mom it's not that bad you're making and that red like out it. and that one piece red out but the other day it was you, that bad. you put that on him yeah but that was that bad I put that away today. The stretch I pants it. are the best. Like he cannot wear jeans because they're either too short. He's great in overalls though, but they're either too short or they fall off his waist. Stretchy pants are it. Yeah. Well, yeah. Just not the one piece stre- stretchy outfits. Like the well, ones no, the that- 12 month pants I have on him right now are windbreaker pants and they're short. They're like capris. <laughs> He's probably and, they, so and he mad. wasn't pulling them down all well, day. Well, that was his third pair of pants. So I had left before I seen what that came to. That's Poor- funny. Now he he is he's quite the he's quite the character like everybody get they all get their own like you know quirks about what they you know what bothers them and what, okay i gotta share the story real quick and then i don't know if you have anything else but um so i today i'm hearing victor and arrow cook in the kitchen i'm like hey arrow loves to cook like he can crack eggs and everything like so just let him cook with you while i do this 
And so he's cooking with him. And I hear, so he, he's cooking. I can't see, but I can hear. And I hear Victor say, don't be wiping that on your shirt. Now we have to get you a new shirt. And for me, if Arrow goes like this to me with his hands out, like something's on it, I'm like, just wipe it on your shirt. So like his parents are so opposite. So he did what I told him. And I'm in that moment, I'm like, he's probably thinking like, what did I do wrong? Like mom just tells me just wipe it on my shirt. Half the time I'm like, wipe it on my shirt. Like, I'm just like, what do you want me to do about it? So anyways, and then I, he came over to me like five minutes later and he had no shirt on and Victor's like a clean freak. So, I mean, I wonder if it's like kind of coming from him a little bit, like, is it hereditary or something? Because then I'm like, Vic, you don't have to change his shirt. Like if he gets a little stain, I said, I didn't change it until he made me after he spilled a bunch of juice on it and didn't want to be wet, but like a little bit of like flour or something. That's, I think that's fine. I don't want to be washed. I have to wash four shirts from today of arrows. I don't want to do that. Victor does a, Victor wears three or four sets of clothes a day when he's home. So it's like, I was just thinking about that. All his clothes shrink. Because I'm laughing because I'm packing for Florida and we have washing machines there and whatever. And we had just went. So a few of the things that I bought last time, I don't want to have to put on my grocery buy massive grocery list again and buy again. So I went and got Tide Pods and I'm like, oh my gosh, we'll probably do two loads of laundry the entire time. I've mm-hmm. grabbed like six of them and um, they give you the stuff for the towels. So I'll use their stuff for the towels and the sheets or whatever if I had to wash any of that. But I grabbed like six of them. I'm like That'll be plenty. But Victor washed like I, that washing machine and dryer were going the entire yeah. time we were at Orange Lake. I was like, what is he got to wash every day? I do not know what he, I do not know what he's washing every day. I think I only put my stuff in two times, like in, but I don't like to put my stuff in with his because he dries everything. I told him today, I said, he's back home now. I said, I looked at him. I said, don't wash any of my clothes. Do not touch any of my clothes because if he washes them, that means he's going to dry them. I saw this one sweater at her house for when he was home on a weekend a couple weeks ago. I go, what did he do? That was a really nice sweater. I said, what did he do to it? It's like so short and so wide now he goes he put it in the dryer i don't even think you were it's supposed like to a wash crocheted sweater i don't even think it was a shirt that's supposed to be washed probably spot washed in the beginning even go th- or hand wash or whatever and i was laughing i'm like oh my gosh but so yeah i had to really watch because he's like if i put something in the washer you have to be fast at getting it out and like like i would hang my stuff like my bathing mm-hmm. suits i'd throw them in the washer and then i would go hang them out on the back deck there but if i didn't get them like the minute the washing machine was empty, he would throw them in the dryer because he's using the washing machine that many yeah, times. Like insane. it was just constantly, constantly was washing clothes. So I was just laughing about that. I was like thinking today though, some things will be different because oh for sure because we all like that I will need and won't need. Like I was trying to go through the list of even when I was doing my grocery stuff, like what can we eat and not feel pressured and you know seven days and that kind of stuff so it was just kind Arrow's of funny. into eggs right now so we're definitely going to do eggs um and then okay then one more thing is last night victor walked out of the bathroom i i was like with arrow laying in bed and we were going to sleep and arrow or victor walked out of the bathroom and i'm like looking at him and he comes closer to me i'm like hey can you plug my phone in? i forgot to plug it in and i couldn't move because arrow was on my arms and he's like yeah so he got really close to me and i'm like are those my pajama pants? <laughs> they were so tight on him and so short. He goes, he goes, yeah, now I'm taking them off. I thought, I thought something was going on. He's literally wearing woman's pajama pants. I'm like, he's lost his mind. Does he think that's, what color were they? that's just normal? So they were, they're Christmas colored though. So they had like Christmas trees on them. They're from the magnetic baby. Hilarious. And I was like, does he have the same pair? No. He does not. And he's like, I, I was, I was like thinking, are you getting that low on your pants? We're, that's just normal that they're that short and tight. And then I said, and then I was like laughing and I took a picture. I'm like, I got to put this on my story. I'm taking them off. Don't you dare. So I didn't put it on my story. And then I said, you can just get rid of them, honestly, Victor, because like those are so old and I just cleaned out my closet and I have so many new pajamas that I didn't need to keep those. And he's like, well, I'll put them back in my drawer in case I run out. <laughs> so he's going to wear my pajama pants. And I am not even close to the, I'm five foot two and he's six foot. I want to see these, this picture after. Yeah, I have to show you. 
That's very funny. And then I dug out all my niece was over a couple weeks ago and I dug out all Nicole's prom dresses because of course I have them saved here. And I had her try them on because she's like, she could fit in two of the three and she looks so cute, but she's Mm -hmm. like, she says them are not, those are out of style, but I said, you should bring them back in and she should rock one and wear one, but no luck. And I'm going to save them for your, for your kids. I don't, and I, I think they're kind of like way more stylish than what people wear now. I think so too, but. Styles do change. I, I don't really like the current styles. Okay. Oh, he pulled them down this one second. This is it. But he pulled, this is after he pulled them down. He hurried up and pulled them down. So it's not too bad, but when they were pulled up, I did, I definitely see you wear them, so I know them. You're they're your pajamas. He's got a shirt. It looks like he's got them pulled way down, way down. Like I don't even know what's hanging out at that point because he was so embarrassed. It was so funny, and I'm like looking and I'm looking again. I'm like, does he have the same? I'm like, are those my pajama pants? And he just lost it. <laughs> I'm just like, what is? Was going- he embarrassed? Yes. I'm like, what is going on? <laughs> He's he like, say, I already he, felt weird about it. Did he him. say he was low? Low on him or what? Well, I just emptied a huge basket of clothes today and they had a ton of his pajama pants. So he must not have really, because then he just threw on shorts after. I don't know. It's hilarious. Yeah. He's like, he, um, he definitely is a one. If you wear something for a half an hour, it goes on the washer. He is not one that he don't like, you know how a lot of people just will throw a sweatshirt on for like a couple hours and then hang my sweatshirt up or a sweater or anything like that. Like I don't wash them all the time. And, um, or even jeans or yeah, like he literally, if it's on a half an hour, it's in the dirty clothes. But it's silly because like all of his clothes are worn out, too small, misshaped. I don't know. Like it's, it's, it's become a problem. It was so irritating to me that I stopped buying him clothes because I'd buy him like a nice shirt and he'd wear it once and then he'd shrink it and say, Oh, I don't, I, I can't wear that anymore. And I'm like, okay. Yeah. He, I don't like to buy him clothes either because I don't see him wear them. And I don't like to buy anybody clothes and unless they pick them out now he doesn't, because he should get an extra large just because like you should just size up a little bit. He gets a large, which it fits him perfectly the first wear. Then after that, it's too small. So I think he should go to extra large. He refuses because he doesn't want like that first wear. So I just, I give up. And- well, then he should just wash it before the first wear, right? Yeah, I guess. I don't, it's just, it's frustrating. Yeah. I'm just, I know exactly what's going to shrink and what's not and what I can put in the dryer. So I, I always have clothes drying, um, around the house, you know, it's inconvenient cause they'll be all over chairs sometimes or whatever, yeah. or else they pull out the drying rack. But otherwise but do I don't close line for the summer. Oh yeah. Today I washed my sheets and I really wanted to put them out, but I put them in the dryer because of the weather. Is there anything else you want to close with? Nope. I am good. Awesome. Well, thank you guys so much for tuning in and we'll try not to take any breaks. No, we won't for a while, but, and then we'll fill you in on our Florida trip. All right. See you later. Bye. Bye.